What's going on guys? Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying up this little green caddis larva, tied check nymph style. Um, I've had some requests to do some more beginner type flies and I thought this would be a great opportunity to tie this uh, since spring is right around the corner and the, uh, the rivers around here are just loaded with these right now. So um, this is a great early spring pattern. Um, tons of different sizes you can tie them in. Um, this right here is a 10, but uh, I usually fish them uh, about a 14 or a 12. Um, I have some tents tied up for steelhead uh, because they tend to uh, key in on these as well when they come up the river in the spring. So I'm going to get a fresh hook in the vise and we'll go into this tutorial. So the hook we have in the vise right now is a Partridge Patriot. This is a Czech Nymph, Barbalus, number 16, uh, which is pretty much equivalent to a size 10. And I have some about 15 wraps of lead-free .015 uh, wire on there just so it gets down a little bit faster. Uh, you can run a bead on these. Um, there's no problem with that. I, uh, I just like um, using these lead-free uh, wire wraps uh, just to make it look a little bit cleaner. And um, this is usually going to be my dropper fly. So it still has a little bit of weight to get down, um, but I usually use this as a dropper. So uh, that's why I don't really put a bead on it. I let my uh, point fly bring it down. The third we're going to be using, UTC 70 denier in brown, and you could also use black. So we're just going to start our thread right behind this uh, lead here. I'm going to cut out my little tag end. Now what I'm going to do is take my thread underneath it and just build another little dam over here. And what that's going to do is going to hold that in place so it doesn't slide anywhere, just like so. I'm just going to put a couple thread wraps over it. So the first material we're going to be tying in is going to be some scud back. This is in a 1 8 and this is in a brown color. The package says clear because I put all my um, colors in here. But uh, the, the color we're going to use is this brown. So we're just going to cut a little piece off this. We're just going to tie this in. I like to try to tie it in right where my lead wraps start. It's just going to give me a smoother base to work on. So I'm just going to bring that down. I like to bring them down pretty deep into the bend here. Just like so. Then we're just going to bring this back up, kind of just smooth everything out. And as you can see already that it already has a, uh, a pretty nice taper to it. So we're going to be putting this uh, dubbing on pretty thin. Just going to check that. Now for a rib, you could use uh, wire, um, t tons of different colors of wire you could use. I like to use um, just some um, 6X tipping material. I just like the look of the uh, the clear ribbing rather than a uh, wire. So I'm just going to cut a little section off that. Then I'm going to tie this in on the same side as the hook facing towards me. And I'm just going to bring that down with the uh, to where my uh, scud back ends there. Just like so. For the dubbing, we're going to be using some uh, hair's ear. This is just a uh, green caddis that I've uh, blended off a mask. Um, you can get so many different dubbings um, for this particular kind of check nymph. Uh, you can get this. I like to use this too. It's check nymph dubbing. Um, anything really green, caddis green, you can use ice dub if you want to. Um, I like to kind of keep it a little bit natural. So I just like to use uh, some hairs here. Got some nice uh, guard hairs in there. Kind of uh, mimic some gills and legs. So I'm just going to dub a nice tight, tight noodle here. Just gonna bring it back to where that starts. 
And the reason why I'm keeping this really, um, really thin is because you want it to get, it's, it, these are made to get down fast. These are check nymph type style um, flies and they're, and they're uh, made to cut through water nice. So I'm trying to keep it as um, thin as possible. And it'll still look nice um, when it's going through the water. So as you can see, I don't really have to taper it that much because my underbody with those uh, lead wraps, um, it's actually tapered most of it for me. And uh, that's another reason why I like using those uh, lead free wraps over a uh, bead. You could use a bead too to get it down like way faster, tungsten bead with wraps. But um, I find that I like this. It's just easier to tie a bunch of them really quick. You tend to lose these to the bottom. It's like so. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our scud back backing up. And we're just going to pull it nice and tight there. Just like so. This stuff can be a little bit tricky to uh, work with. I'm just gonna grab my 6X here. Start making some nice tight wraps up this body here to create some segment. I like to pull pretty tight on this stuff because I like to uh, make it look nice and segmented. So now what I'm gonna do is actually back off my thread here. I'm just gonna pull this, my scud back back, if it wants to. Then I'm gonna take one wrap in front of that with this 6X. Then just tie it off. Just like so. I can come in with my scissor and just cut that ribbing out without cutting that. Just like so. Now for the head part, we're gonna just be using some black um, hair's ear. This is a little uh, hair's ear plus um, dubbing, or you could even use um, Black Rabbit, uh, totally up to you. Just need some sort of dark head. You can even use a really dark brown, chocolate brown. All works. I just like to use uh, hairs here just because it has some nice guard hairs in it and uh, they stick out pretty natural. So they look like uh, some nice legs sticking down. So all you can do is dub in a little uh, head there and you can pull this scud back over the head. Some nice wraps in there. Take a couple wraps in front of that. Come in with your scissors. Just pull up a little bit on the scud back so after you cut it, it sucks back down into the, uh, into the thread so you don't have a little tag hanging off. Now we're just gonna grab our whip finish tool. So a four or five turn whip finish in here. You'll be good to go. So what I like to do right here is just grab a little Sharpie. And I like to just color this, uh, this head part all black. My thread wraps, the top of this scud, scud back material. It's like so, so it's all black there. So you can fish this right now, it's good to go. You could uh, pick some pick some of those guard hairs out if you like, uh, make it a little bit more buggy. Um, but I'm gonna put a little, just a little shot of this Luna Doors fluorescing flow over the back here, 
It's just going to add a little bit more uh, durability to the fly. And I'm just pretty much just putting a little coat on, I'm not building anything up or anything like that. I'm just uh, kind of covering up those uh, those ribbing wraps. So I'm just going to hit that for about 15 seconds or so. It will be good to go. So I'm just going to uh, pick out some legs right here. To the front. Just like that. And there you have it. A little check check nymph style uh, green caddis. Um, definitely have a bunch of these in your box uh, for springtime. Thanks a lot again for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about any of the materials or anything like that, just drop it down in the comments. Thanks a lot again for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.